holler if you hear me and welcome to this week's edition of loop targets because it seems that the world of assassin's creed shadows and ubisoft's continued succession of one failure after another the failure to make the franchise worthwhile at all anymore with all the ups and downs of franchises like say resident evil at least they actually have ups and downs while assassin's creed continues to go down 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 to chinatown and the people of ubisoft just keep on going keep on trying to run after that little coyote and they just wind up running into brick walls and for anybody out there that thinks that anybody that is outraged about the historical inaccuracy of Assassin's Creed Shadows only are those evil, disgusting chuds all over the internet who are all white and that they just pose as Japanese online and write in Japanese and say that they're bilingual when they're just lying. Well, I'm guessing then that Japanese politician Satoshi Hamada also is just a, an American white guy, evil chud, that's posing as a Japanese man because it's now being reported that Japanese politician Satoshi Hamada is going before the legislative body of the Japanese government, the Japanese diet, but hey, you know, translation, strange things happen there. And he's going to do this all in the name of how dare these Frenchmen try to go and impose their values, their European white values, onto another culture. But that sort of critical thinking skills of following the train of thought of all these lefty worshipping idiots that constantly screech about the d upending the capitalist evil and nuclear family structure and about ending colonialist-based Western oppression, suddenly don't mind when it comes to doing that to the Japanese. But we all already know the strange, strange, strange attitude that seems to really contradict everything they say they are when it's these insufferably angry, professionally offended activist types towards any kind of game or any kind of product in general, if it's manga, if it's cartoons, if it's whatever, that is done from Japan or Korea. I can't help but notice that, because of course Stellar Blade was the uh, success du jour for simply being a hack and slash with a sexy female in it, but then so much anger was built around that thing successful, in spite of it not filling out the politically correct dogma of the left, they, when they actually were made to play the game, they had to go out of their way to try and talk around how much they actually liked the game, even opening their reviews with, in spite of the game's level of fun, because they've got that little programming, they've got that little pin in the back of their head that they then switch or they pull like a pull string and say that this game is offensive. And yet, when it comes to taking feudal Japan and putting a black man in place of actual Japanese people and having a female ninja when in that culture there would be no such thing whatsoever. Yes, yes, you can go and screech about how ninjas are outlaws and assassins, but guess what? Even the assassins and the outlaws of feudal Japan still were men come first, women come second. Or sometimes not at all, but that just depends on the prowess of a Japanese man when it comes to matters of the bedchamber. But still, more likely, the hit and miss level is going to be a lot more hit with the Japanese man versus the man that's writing for any one of these garbage websites or newspapers that is going to continue to excuse the stupidity of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Since the idea of taking one little historical document that there was a black man who was nothing more than the spear carrier for a Japanese uh, figure during a time of strife, that does not mean he was a warrior. And of course, let's not forget about the idea that they're going to show how culturally uh, enriched and sensitive they are by uh, having this black hero stomp around killing people to the tune of hip-hop. Because nothing says you really know about the black man experience, and they're not just coming from sitcoms and movies about black people written and directed by other clueless white people who never interact with the black community at all. I'll just say this. For any of those out there, I would say that are professionally offended at anybody who does not like the historical inaccuracy and historical perversion, I would call it, of Assassin's Creed Shadows are probably the kind of people that pretend they care so much about black people, but have never in the last 30 years wondered aloud what was Tommy's job. And if you don't understand what I mean by wondering in the last 30 years what was Tommy's job, then you have no understanding or interaction with the black community, bar none, okay? And now with this politician thinking of bringing this forward, this is just another little step forward with how it's not just the historical inaccuracy of forcing Yasuke as a hero in this game, it's also the idea of how lazy and trite 
Ubisoft was to go out of the way to get this game, get a Japanese flag involved, that they just wound up ripping off from an historical recreation society, that now even they were taking to Twitter to publicly discuss this as being something terrible and offensive. And well, at the very least, they did go and contact Ubisoft and decided to remove the flag, except it's too late in the game to remove the flag from the uh, guidebook, from the art book, as well as from the game itself. And then, even with this, still there is the idea of we may go and contemplate getting some legal representation because we are a volunteer organization. That means we'd have to go and find some kind of funding, maybe crowdfunding, to go get a lawyer to take them to court on account of this. And will now maybe some figures in the Japanese government over if, uh, if Hamada, if Hamada-san takes us to the Japanese diet, that means we might get a nice big government body, a little legislative body coming in to maybe help out, not just with that one little group over there, but maybe the whole idea of now why taking that little change.org petition of going against the grain and demanding that the Japanese flag be removed, not just that Japanese flag be removed, but that the whole game be removed from ever getting released in Japan, which I just say, if we're going to follow this train of thought about white Western Europeans trying to impose their culture onto a different culture that isn't white and that is fewer pull on bigotry but remember this is how these people live with confession through projection now you've got the same idea similar idea going in there of well if a group of people in an historical setting in that people's country does not like the way it's portrayed any other context say if this were a game that would have been set in africa say like uh the gladiator sequel coming up those same idiots for those same unctuous newspapers and websites, if you say had uh, uh, Hannibal, the Carthaginian general who led uh, in the Second Punic War against Rome, and but he was portrayed by Bradley Cooper instead of a black man, do you think that they'd be happy about that? Do you think those same people would not be swinging to the heavens and smirking into the little cameras at some garbage little video game website and challenging people to matches? But then when some girl, you gamer, YouTuber who's actually a gamer goes and lays out the plan of, okay, we've got this amount of months to train an actual gym to fight, then suddenly she backs out when you actually call their bluff or when you call not just her bluff, but you also call these people on where is the equivalent outrage. I mean, this is as something that is as big example of the hypocrisy, the abundant hypocrisy of the left as say the non-existent mass media coverage and deplatforming and cancellation of Neil Gaiman for the woman who's now gone on record in a multi-part podcast with all these text messages and one-on-one -on -one interviews about all of the disgusting, uh, creepy uh, uh, bits of, uh, let's just say, uh, aggressive loving that she received from Neil Gaiman. And the fact that she also says, in reporting this to his then-wife, 13 other women also had similar stories to say to her like this. And yet, uh, are, is there any big petition to have his novels or comics or anything else removed from the shelves of Barnes & Noble or from Amazon? No, but you still got all Dr. Disrespect and all his stuff getting taken away like that. Almost as if these kind of things are coordinated to actually go after people that they don't like for being more successful than the unctuous journalist losers that, that don't like anybody who's successful in spite of not agreeing with them. While a little douchebag who has the right accent and the right politics is suddenly, 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 uh, no, it's tumbleweeds trying to go and either ignore it or repress it in a way that's comparable only to Tara Reid's accusations not too long ago. You know which Tara Reid I'm referring to. But then you add on all of this that we still know that there are going to be those people, just like the losers who still excuse Vosh when you go and bring up his advocacy for CP with them screeching out of context. And then when you ask them to deliver the context, they never do. They're like Amazon on opposite day. But then, then, then you've got now Satoshi Hamada going forward with the Japanese diet with this uh, offensive and how much that this is ahistorical to Japan's culture with Assassin's Creed Shadows. And I bet you even then with him going forward in public like this, and if he actually does bring it to the diet, and then the diet goes and agrees with what he is doing, and then it becomes a government issue of a government against a video game developer.
even then, there will be delusional, shrieking wannabe tyrants that will continue to try and say that this is all the work of some secret evil cabal of white conservatives. Because, remember what I said about confession through projection? It's not as if all these corporations are so financially destitute and desperate and going broke that they need all these little funds, these little hedge funds that gloat about forcing behaviors to suddenly take what they were making and turn it into more and more garbage that might as well just be, you know, an hour and a half of hammers and sickles all over the places. Because they, 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 these people, the people at Ubisoft, the people in the gaming journalism world that live to excuse or defend them, they all live for confession through projection. And it's not my opinion. I know I'm right. I want to thank you all for watching. Subscribe so my channel will reach 10,000 subscribers this year. Don't forget to become a channel member today. By, uh, and also, you can share the video to help the circulation go and shop at my art store with the second link below, where besides the artwork there, you can also commission me for original art, and you can also donate to me directly through my store. And if you want to buy or commission my work for you live outside of America, just make your payment as a donation with another uh, donation for the international shipping and handling fee. So until then, beelines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.